graduates, it's Stella from Meeple University and this is Stella short and sweet preview for Legacy of You from Garfield Games. Oh, water's everywhere. The flood has been a disaster for our village. I'm hoping you, son of Gun, can continue and improve upon his father's work in building the canals to stop the flooding once and for all. Now, let me share the legacy of you. The game plays one player with mechanics such as deck building, worker placement and resource management. The game is of medium complexity. Legacy of You is a solo campaign game where you need to manage your deck of cards and resources to pay the cost of fighting barbarians, building buildings and essentially avoiding the incoming flood by building the canals in time to win. Throughout, you'll be prompted to read the storybook, depends on the cards or characters you encounter in your journey, then continue to the next scenario. I want to show you the story deck in this video to avoid spoilers, so instead I'll use a sample preview deck. In the game, you start with a deck of 10 townsfolk cards to be used mainly for gaining resources, items or workers. On your turn, you gain income or harvest by gaining resources and drawing 4 cards from your deck, then mainly playing the cards from hand and spend resources. So you can play cards to discard for their resources or even more resources if you trash the cards from your deck. You could also slot under the farms for permanent benefits on harvest phase. The 10 banner is to do with the storybook by the way. You can recruit more towns for cards, paying provisions if any, to add to your discard pile or trash it right away for immediate benefit. You can build buildings, farms to gain benefit at harvest, outposts for shell resources at harvest and worker colors flexibility, trust me, you need this one to make your life easier, and huts for allowing you to add cards underneath for income plus extra worker placement spaces. So hence, you can assign workers to these spaces to gain the benefit. The workers come back at the end of the round and usually can be any colors. You can exchange resources and more to be unlocked as you build the canals. You can pay workers and proficients to get rid of barbarians and gain the benefit. And finally, you can build canal, pay the resources, remove the card. You may have to destroy some cards from your deck too. Now, every time you don't have cards in your deck, you have to shuffle your cards from this card and that's when the flood advances. If you still have the card or unbuilt canal, you'll lose the game. It catches up with your board. Ah! Okay, that's just a sample. Didn't really happen. Don't worry, all my games are safe. Other ways to lose the game are if there are ever seven barbarians along the top of the board or if you need to destroy cards but you don't have any at the end of the round if there are any barbarian cards already there you must pay the costs shown new towns for cards revealed to fill the gap but the priority is to flip open barbarian cards depending on this symbol on the board so hopefully you'll make it build all canals, win, and on to the next scenario. There are lots of puzzles you need to solve. Lots of things need prioritizing. Yes, you need to build the canals, but you need to have some engine building to make your actions more powerful. More resources at income phase, more options for those, oh no, I'm stuck moments. Well, at least for me anyway. Game can be quite brutal if you haven't planned what you're going to do, what exact resources you may need, chaining the bonuses ahead. You also really need to manage the amount of cards. The more cards you have, the longer it is that the flood moves. 
It's always tempting though to just trash the cards to get even more resources rather than just discarding them. Although building the canals is what you need, feels like you need to do it just in the last moment that you have to do it before you lose. Because there are always other actions that you need to do requiring resources. This game is specifically made for solo gaming, so no AI that you need to worry about. Everything is designed smoothly for it. And you can always reset the campaign or repeat the same scenario. The rulebook has instruction on how to do that and you'd usually see around 40 to 60% of the hidden content per game. So, adventurers, would you accept the challenge of canal building, barbarian fighting and be a victor in continuing the legacy of you? So thanks for watching folks, check out the Legacy of You project page. I'll put the link in the description below. The components featured in this video are prototype, so rules and artwork are not final. You would help us by like the video, subscribe and hit the bell and comments below if you want me to make more of these videos. I also share my board games journey on Instagram. Hopefully I will see you there too. See you next time.